Well hello my beautiful and amazing crafters. Welcome to another video of Crafting with Shanita. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a cute and adorable coloring book right in Canva. Now I do have Canva Pro and a lot of these elements are also in the free version. This is a template that I made before today's tutorial kind of practicing with different activities and color book pages. I'm planning my birthday party for my granddaughter and we don't know if we're going to do Princess in the Frog or Minnie Mouse so we're just going to get some ideas and get ready for the celebration. So to start the design you want to create a new design in inches. Mine always defaults to pixels or I just have to make a mental note to go to inches. A lot of times I have pre-made templates that I just go to once I create a design and I want to make more duplicate I just go to my template that I cr created in the past. So we're going to have this template sized at 11, point, 11 by uh, 8.5 excuse me and I'll have all the instructions and key points in the description box below. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a line from elements and this is going to be my divider mark between the two pages that I'm going to create out of this one template size. I'm going to create that line and I'm going to center it and it makes each page about 5.5 inches. This line will be used to separate the two pages and you can remove the line once you're finished creating your page. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to create some elements that my granddaughter could color in her color activity book. Google has great images to use for personal use and if you're going to do this and create this and sell it, make sure you're finding elements that are for commercial use if you're not drawing them yourself and protecting yourself. So I know I want to have about six pages Three pages I would like to just be a coloring portion and three pages activity. So I'm choosing the elements that I want to use for the coloring portion. I'm going to choose designs or graphic that are kind of that are a hollow effect so it gives the effect so my granddaughter will be able to color in those images. And here I'm just placing the images that I chose from Google and adding them to the page. I like the elements that have a lot of designs on the page and it gives some more things to color. For example, this image has a few hearts and the word mini. Just to fill up the page and give her some um, something to do. And even with the pages that don't have a much on the page, like for this design, you could always add to your page to make it more of a full page. Now here I'm going to pick a font that I'm going to use to give direction and more dimension to each of the coloring pages. The font that I'm going to choose is vertical smooth and I'm going to use that font I'm going to just type a couple different sayings on each page for this page I'm going to put happy birthday place it on top and just play around with the sizing then I'm going to go to effects and choose hollow so now it's a hollow text that I can implement throughout the coloring book slash activity book. Now this particular page is a little sparse so I want to add some more elements to the page. So I'm just choosing different um, elements that are outlined 
the easiest way to do it is just choose the element you want to do like I wanted a balloon so I typed in balloon outline star outline so I could get those images that are just an outline instead of manipulating the image and here I'm just adding more elements to the page just so she has a little bit more to do on the page and just filling up the page and the great thing about Canva is it has so many great elements that you can choose from background text it's really an all-in-one location for a creative design I'm going to change this I'm going to choose the font Canva student font dot I'm going to bring another line in from elements and I'm going to make three lines by duplicating I'm going to make three lines by using the duplicate button That middle line is going to be a dotted line, so I'm going to change that using the option above. By clicking on that middle line, I'm going to change the line style to um, a dotted line. Now I'm going to copy the font and type her name. So now she has another area on her activity book where she can trace her name as well. Canva does also have letter trace. So if you didn't want to go to this option, you could type in letter trace and the letter that you're looking for and you can find the letter trace already set and ready to go. Just like that. There's so many different options available. It's really nice so you don't necessarily have to go on Google and find images or make it them yourself that's why I enjoy Canva Pro for all the options that they have available next I want to do a maze and Canva does have a few mazes to choose from different style or you can Google the images as well So she's going to be four. I'm choosing a maze that's relatively easy for her and her mom to work on. I found some images on Google and I added it to the maze. Now I want to do a word search. Now you can go online and there is a site uh, called wordsearch.com where you're able to actually create your own word search by entering the words and it will generate that for you. I will have that information in the description box below. But while I was looking for that, I saw a really cute and more age appropriate word search. Um, to use I really like this word search here 
because she's all into farm animals and I thought this would be perfect. So originally I was just going to copy and paste it into the design and just remove the background. I want another great um, feature of having Canva Pro, you can use background remover that's a free um, option as well. And here's the word search. If you are going to make your own uh, word search, you would just type in a title and a description. You don't have to do the description, but, and you would just add at least 10 words so the word search can generate a puzzle uh, word search for you. And once you enter all of the words you want to have in your word search, it generates it generates it for you and then you can download it and then you can um, upload it into your Canva workbook. I thought this, I think this is such a great idea, but because she's so little, I think it's a little bit too advanced for her. So I decided to just create my own. And I have a video on how I did that also listed below. So the third and final activity I, I want to do is a quick tic-tac-toe game. And to do that, I'm going to bring two lines in from elements, make them even. I'm going to duplicate those two lines and cross it so I can have the tic-tac-toe effect. And I forgot to mention that Canva does have pre-made tic-tac-toe games available as well. Now that I have the coloring pages I'm happy with and the activity book pages I'm happy with, I'm gonna work on the front and back cover of the coloring book. Going with the possible theme of Minnie Mouse. Now I've already created um, some Capri Sun labels and water bottle labels with the same design. So it was really easy for me just to use that same look and just replicate it on the cover of the coloring book. There is no wrong way when it comes to being creative. You just enjoy the process and have fun. Now I'm gonna go through all the pages, make sure everything is how I like it. I'm gonna remove that center line that I used to divide each page. I wanted a cover sheet, and so I just brought this image in and flipped it and made that so it'll be the second and last page. And now I have, each page will have a coloring portion and activity portion, just like I wanted. So I'm going to save this as a PDF file and get ready to print. So while I'm getting everything ready to print, I'm just showing you that I the Capri Suns that I made prior and that's the design that I use for the coloring book. I did print this on copy paper and just, as you can see it is a little see-through. So you definitely can use cardstock if you wish so you don't see the bleed through the other side of the page. But this is perfect the way I I like it and for the cover sheet and that first initial page I used the glossy photo paper and I will have the description and the, uh, everything in the description box below for my printer settings um, when it came to the copy pages I make sure to use actual size I made sure to print those color pages on both sides and to flip the short edge. I'll put the information below and I double check my paper quality. When it came to the glossy paper, it was just single side. Now to assemble, you can get a long reach stapler. I did see a young lady use a regular stapler and she used a piece of foam that she got at the Dollar Tree and opened up the stapler and did it that way. 
I thought that was such a smart idea as well if you don't want to purchase a long reach stapler. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble the color pages first, put them together, and then the very first page and the last page here, folding it very carefully against this crease. like so so cute already and now the cover sheet taking my time so it looks so the book will look like this once before I staple it I'm just checking each page and showing you what it's gonna look like so cute she has an activity and a coloring page I like the way that that this the pages are nice and full it looks like something you would get at the store but you made it in Canva now I'm gonna make sure all the pages are nice and secured and taut as I staple the coloring book I'm starting with the middle and then carefully going on each end Here you go, here is the coloring book. It looks amazing. Not bad for my first one. Well, second. I even like to add some, you can add some crowns. I got these five set of crowns on Amazon. And I used the cellophane sh protective package sheet to package the coloring book and the crown if you want to know how I made this matching candy wrap I'll have that video coming up soon and I like to add my stores code on the back especially if you're going to be making these for a client and using commercial license projects well i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial this was so fun to make and i hope to see you on the next video of crafting with shanita happy crafting